Hello, everybody. I am so pleased to introduce Dr. Thomas from Germany. He's been practicing both Eastern and Western medicines, and he's combining to help so many. So please, Dr. Thomas, please introduce yourself. Thank you. Thank you for invitation. Um, first, I want to apologize that my English is really not good. So just uh, take it as an exotical German uh, dialect, I don't know. You know, when I learned English at school, this is a really long time ago. And in this time I had my first language I have to learn was Latin, <laughs> a dead language, <laughs> not, non, uh, not a language which is still uh, existence. So I'm sorry for this. Yeah, um, I'm very happy and glad that I uh, can tell to you and maybe you have some questions and uh, what you, what you like to know about me and just give me some hints. Yes, please tell us how you start in your uh, shiatsu journey. Mm. Why did you fascinating about Eastern medicine? Okay, um, so the first contact was uh, in uh, the beginning of the in the beginning of the eighties. I was working for three years in the Philippines and doing a field, field work, a research uh, about traditional medicine in the Philippines. And uh, when I came back, I was on a festival. It was a New Age festival. Mm -hmm. And on this New Age festival, I saw a woman um, presentate, she presents uh, shiatsu treatments, how it oh. looks. And I was watching her and then I thought, mm, could be nice to come in contact with her. Maybe she gives me an example on me. Wow. So um, then after this, I decided to start uh, with shiatsu education. I, I started to, to learn shiatsu. And uh, well, my teacher in shiatsu later, we married my wife. Yeah. So um, that was... Uh, in the 80s where I learned shiatsu and my wife, she opened somehow, she opened for me the gate to uh, the oriental medicine because oh. while I was in the Philippines, uh, at the same time, she was for a couple of years in Japan and oh. learning uh, in Japan shiatsu and mm. teaching there. So somehow we came together and now there was oh like two energies coming together and and uh, developing something new thing. Yeah, um, I then uh, after I learned the shiatsu, then I start uh, in learning acupuncture. Mm. Uh, I learned the here in Germany when you learn acupuncture is a, a traditional Chinese uh, medicine acupuncture. Mm -hmm. It's a Chinese kind of acupuncture, but this was for me only not really satisfying. So when the next time we came to Japan and we were tra traveling more or less every year to Japan, um, I learned uh, Japanese acupuncture. Oh. And this opened for me uh, those specificities, spe those special things which are different from the Chinese way mm -hmm. like palpation oh i see yeah like in shiatsu with the hava diagnosis you were diagnosed by palpation with your hands mm -hmm. and then something new for me because in the chinese uh, acupuncture well you use your hands for pulse diagnosis but you know it's not so sophisticated oh, and I, see. I felt much more comfort comfortable mm -hmm. with this uh, japanese way of coming of um, of creating a diagnosis by oh. per patient hmm. mm. yeah that, that's and also a, in japan in japan we use uh, such a thing needles that's right mm. more much more uh, the needles are much more thin yes you need sometimes a tube because they are so thin that you need a tube to, which is around the needle that the needle won't, uh, uh, otherwise you can't uh, penetrate the skin. Yes, right, right. Really very fine needles. Oh. Very 
very nice. I like them very much. Yeah. I see. Oh, but, that's great to hear. Yeah. I didn't know that that was Japanese specialties. Oh, yes. Ah. Oh. Yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. is one thing which mm -hmm. I, is for me no problem. I like to make it to perform the acupuncture, but I also uh, have a lot of patients uh, who are not adults, they are children. Mm. Uh, I'm a gen general practi practitioner, but I mm. also uh, I have also the training in pediatrician, mm. uh, general and pediatrician. Mm. Uh, from year to year, my patients, uh, the the number of of children as a patient was growing, yes. and uh, to be honest, my passion are the children. Why? Yeah. And then it's kind of hard to do the thing acupuncture treatments for the children because they cannot sit still. And right. then you met the Shani Shin. That's right. Oh. That's what came to Shani Shin. I mm. mean, fine Japanese needle, you can do the acupuncture with children because mm -hmm. it's really painless. But children are so sensitive. Yes. They just the 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 even if it's a painless penetration of the mm -hmm. of the skin, it is very often too much stimulation. Yes. So very easy they are overstimulated. Ah. So, so I was so happy that one day I uh, read an article yes. uh, about Shoni Shin. Yes. And so I decided the next time when we go to Japan, mm -hmm. I want to learn Shonishin. But at yes. first, I have to meet the one who is teaching Shonishin, and that is Tanyoka Sensei in Osaka. Mm -hmm. And he is in Japan, I think, the, let's say, the Shonishin Pope. <laughs> yes, yes. He's very well known. And, and uh, when I came in contact with him, mm -hmm. I felt also something like there is a inner bondage between him and me. Something oh, like wonderful. wonderful. And uh, so I learned Shonishin. And so he was teaching me Shonishin. Mm. And uh, since that time, I mm. was, let's say, infected. Mm. <laughs> I yeah. see. And mm. how do you describe Shonishin for the mm. people who doesn't know about it? Oh, I can show yes. you. Yes. Yeah. In Shonishin, you mm -hmm. have different kind of tools. Yes. Oops. Different type of type of tools. Mm -hmm. The different types of tools are different because. Um, to be able to perform different kind of stimulations. Mm -hmm. But for me, this was not really um, something which I felt comfortable with this. Mm -hmm. Because if you do, if you perform one kind of technique and then mm -hmm. you have to change the technique because to make another stimulation, then you have to put the instrument away, the tool away, and grab another one. Mm, mm. That means interruption of your treatment. Mm. But children are very sensitive. So when yes. you interrupt your treatment, they don't like it. It's like me. When somebody gives me a good shiatsu, uh -huh. best shiatsu would be my wife. So if she would give me a shiatsu and during treatment, mm -hmm. the, uh, the smartphone is ringing and she will say to me, oh, just a minute, I, uh, <laughs> I'll come back in one minute. For me, it's over. Right. Yeah. Energy because shuts down, yes. There's not any more a flow. Mm -hmm. energetic, energetic flow is interrupted. The mm -hmm. treatment flow is interrupted. And children taught me this. Ah. Especially babies taught me because they are not manipulative. They are, uh, let's say, they are just direct. Yes. Uh, they they express what mm -hmm. is going on. 
And so mm. at least the babies in little children were, besides Tanyoka Sensei, my real teacher. Mm. Okay, so I was thinking of creating a tool, yes. uh, just one tool to perform with one tool, all kind of operations. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's the one which I created. And wow. this too, it looks very simple. Mm. I can do any kind of treatment uh, method. Yeah, any mm. kind. So that's, uh, what, that's one point for mm -hmm. me. Uh, the other point of me was maybe you with Japanese background, you know, mm. when you learn uh, in Japan, some, uh, let's say, akupancha shiatsu, mm -hmm. you, you watch and you try to imitate. Mm -hmm. right? That's how we learn, yes. And you don't ask so much why and what is it, because if you ask some, some sensei why does it work, he will say, because. It's always like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm not Japanese. Mm. So my teacher... Mm -hmm. the sensei, he said that's the big chance for Shonishin because the first time that a medical doctor mm -hmm. Shonishin and he's not Japanese mm -hmm. so somehow as a gaijin I have some kind of <laughs> some kind of uh, uh, free um, status yeah? uh -huh. so, uh -huh. and he said um, well with my not background knowledge uh, I should Look what is what we can do with Shona Oh, wonderful! I was uh, come back home. I mm -hmm. was um, I was researching why, for example, a certain kind of treatment on the skin, uh, why the children uh, are coming in a deep relaxation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I found the the gap between energetic. Mm -hmm. and treatment and mm -hmm. neuroanatomical sound, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. what is going on. So mm -hmm. I was on the things behind it. Mm -hmm. so I wrote a book, also one in English. This is wonderful. The, um, the art of non-invasive pediatric mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and uh, in this so book. You, mm. I, Thing about this. Mm -hmm. So you use uh, Shonishin for the babies to everybody? To anybody. Mm -hmm. or elderly people, everybody. Yes. Mm. yes. And yes. You, did you find some uh, acupressure points uh, very effective for those? That's uh, acupuncture thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our thinking is more yes. about if a baby or mm -hmm. a toddler or a, a teenager or an adult person mm -hmm. has some certain problem yes. or symptom, mm -hmm. we look what was the energetic precondition mm. and when did it happen that, the, that uh, a problem could uh, manifest mm. itself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, the treatment is um, giving support mm -hmm. to an energetic level, which was maybe years before. Mm -hmm. So, just for an, an example, mm -hmm. um, a school a school girl with asthma bronchiale yes. comes to me and say and uh, wants some treatment. Mm -hmm. Then I have to look when that, did it start mm. first time, and when she said, "Oh, it's oh sorry, <laughs> it started uh, around uh, when she uh, was in kindergarten, mm. so she was four years old." Then I know at four years you are in a certain energetic development mm. uh, because all our meridians, and that's what Karen and I. Uh, where um, researching the last 35 years mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that the meridians are 
have a development, um, well, are developing also like motto skills, like like mm -hmm. sensory skills. Mm -hmm. So also energetic skills and the meridians, mm -hmm. they um, kind of development. And uh, in the age of, let's say, four years, the, there is a certain kind of um, combination how meridians are working uh, to each other, mm -hmm. which will be changed when they are later. So... Um, on this level, mm -hmm. find out how the meridians, which meridians, and how the meridians wow. will be uh, get some support. That's the way how we enter into this. Oh, I see. How, but that's a basis of our treatment based on this kind of diagnostic. We call it the energetic development. Mm, interesting. Yeah. And Karen told me. You and Karen are working with the refugees from Ukraine. That's right. I started. Please tell uh, us about it. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I mean, we have we have now more than one million refugees alone mm. from one million, yeah, over one million, mm. and they are women, yeah, and most mm. of them have mm. children. So you can imagine how many children we have. And uh, of course, there it's a tragedy. Um, so uh, many of those children, they are they are deeply traumatized. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was remembering uh, when there in Japan the problem yeah. with Fukushima and yeah, uh, yeah. And, uh, the tsunami was that uh, my Shonishin colleagues in Japan mm -hmm. they went to uh, Miyago and uh, they were helping the children with Shonishin. Mm. So I was contacting my uh, teacher, Tanyoka Sensei. Mm -hmm. I was also the, the, um, the head of the Japanese uh, acupunct uh, um, pediatric acupuncture society. Mm -hmm. the, Neon Shoni Hari Gakkai, and they to, uh, they sent me some uh, information what they did. Oh, I see. So this information I put, but I put it also with my uh, experience when because I'm for a longer time I'm working with tra traumatized adults, especially mm -hmm. those. We have a trauma, trauma uh, uh, caused by the birth, mm. birth trauma. So we, Karen and I, uh, were thinking, what can we do? And so I use Shonishin now in the treatment of the traumatized uh, children from Ukraine, mm -hmm. combined a little part of the baby shiatsu, which Karen. Mm invented or which Karen yes. practicing and teaching um, mm -hmm. uh, because the technique of the baby of the mm -hmm. uh, baby shiatsu uh, a certain kind of treatment that's the hand treatment and oh. this hand treatment gives me a big chance the chance is oh. the children who are traumatized mm. they are something like frozen Oh, yeah, they are not anymore living in their body. Mm. They, they need this frozen status to stand this terrible situation. Mm -hmm. So we, we call this dissociation. They are dissociated. Mm. And uh, if you treat somebody mm -hmm. with traumatized and it's still dissociated, then you make his uh, his um, yeah his, uh, his, his you you make just the contra the mm. the, uh, the how do you, you make the opposite of what you want. Uh. It's not good to 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 um, treat people who are dissociated makes the dissociation and this freezing to be freezing much worse. Mm. So I have, first, I have to bring the 
children back in the, their body and that they are here in the room where we are now at the moment sitting. Mm -hmm. And the hand treatment, this helps a lot. So the children come back and suddenly they feel the hand and they oh. have interest on the hand, look to the hand, come in a relax, are relaxing. And then I start with different uh, Shonishin techniques, mm -hmm. which are very simple and uh, it's a very short treatment what I do. So when on 22nd, when, when uh, we uh, are again on Zoom, uh, if you want, I can show you a PowerPoint, uh, which Wonderful. is a, a PowerPoint, first, a power, first part where I make an introduction to Shonishin. Yes. What is Shonishin? Yes. What's behind it? And then I show uh, uh, the second part, my, yeah, how I'm treating the children, what's behind this, so to make it much easier and clearer. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm looking yes, forward I, to it. Thank you. I thank you for the opportunity. Oh, of course, of course. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you on October 22nd. Great. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay.